Doppler radar. Doppler 4000 on News Channel. <laughs> As I was saying, Doppler radar works by sending radio waves into the atmosphere. Those waves bounce off of raindrops, giving us an image of the incoming weather. The most advanced Doppler radar in local television. New, live Doppler 7. I'm meteorologist Jason Myers, and here's a dirty little weather secret. Radar can't see everything, no matter how good everyone says it is. Supercalifragilisticexpialidoppler. <laughs> So here are five things radar can't see. Number one, clouds. Radar beams do bounce off of everything, including the clouds, but non-precipitation items like clouds are filtered out, giving you a better image of the rain or snow that's out there. Number two, light rain or drizzle. The raindrops are so small, they're usually missed by the radar beam. Number three, Virga. Not your astrological sign. This is rain that falls from the sky and evaporates before it even hits the ground. On radar, this will sometimes show up as rain, but in reality, it's not. Number four, light or dry snow. Snow doesn't reflect radar beams very well, so sometimes it can be snowing even though the radar shows nothing. Number five, tornadoes. Radar beams are way above the surface, but tornadoes occur on the ground. Radar can detect rotation within a thunderstorm, and tornado warnings are sometimes issued solely based on that rotation. But the only way to know if there's a tornado for sure is to see one spinning in person. Don't get me wrong, Doppler radar has been one of the greatest advancements in weather technology, but like weather forecasting itself, it's still not perfect. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like it, comment below, and subscribe to the channel.